Uh, I was fascinated um, to be given the choice of um, a couple of different objects that were connected with Mary Queen of Scots because um, I wrote a play, probably the best known play I've ever done, is called Mary Queen of Scots Got Her Head Chopped Off. And uh, there's even a line in it about Mary's jewellery and one of the things I found out about her was how very, very interested in jewellery she was. It's one of the treasures she brought with her to France. And this particular set, which I haven't seen till just now, but I heard that they were um, a present, a necklace and earrings to match, were given uh, by Mary herself to Mary Seaton, one of her four Maries. All I really know about Mary Seaton is that um, she became a nun later on. She never married, but like the other three Maries, she was of French, Scottish descent. And, you know, she was one of Mary's gentlewomen. And uh, unless she was a very puritanical nun, I think she would have been totally delighted by this piece, which is, you know, it's, it's glorious. The true story of Mary is so fascinating. And um, she really did, she traded um, a lot of the time on her jewellery. It was a way of communicating with people. Um, in my play, she actually says of Elizabeth at one point, her maid is saying to her, um, you know, she says to her maid, Bessie, in my play, who's played by Elizabeth, so it's a kind of joke. Uh, the, the women change places. So Mary's saying to an, a fictional maid called Bessie, Bessie, do you think she'll meet me? Aye, Your Majesty, she'll meet with you face to face at York. And you're right, gin you talk together at lobby sort of out. If you hunt o' the courtiers and politicians and men of war, and Corby, the narrator says, she shall never meet you face to face, which is true of Mary and Elizabeth. But Mary says, they say she wears my portrait I sent her in that wee jewelled case hanging for her girdle. And she sent me an emerald. Um, so they did actually, you know, send each other jewels a lot. And uh, it's fascinating that she, uh, had this piece that was so colourful and so beautiful. It's just quite magical to be here and so close to these things that I think would have gone through her ears at one time and then through her maids. <laughs>